Okay, so what we're going to do here, let me turn this down here, is we are going into the audio that came from the bus stop video. <clears throat> and we're going to measure the time between the two shots that are heard on the bus stop video. So I'll let you hear the audio first and you can hear where the shots are. It's right behind us with rifles and they asked us to like take cover. Shot number one. And so we ran... There's um, glass falling from Mandalay Bay. And so we ran over... This is basically... The, probably not the same. It's probably not this. And then a shot number two. Now those are the two 308 rounds that were fired from room 134. Those being shots number seven and shot number eight, both of which uh, the LVMPD could not find on the fit report or the, uh, anyway, in their analysis, or whatever, they were unable to find those shots. So we have them, uh, they're on the bus stop video, and I'm also gonna show you where they are on the police body cam footage as well. So let's measure the distance between these two peaks. Let me spread this out a little bit further here, get a little bit more accurate. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a marker right here at the beginning of the first shot, right about here. And then we're going to stretch this over to the sound of the second shot, which comes up here in the, just a moment. Normally it's about 10 seconds into this. So we're going to scroll over to that and uh, measure the distance between the two times and then we're going to use that information to go over to the body worn camera footage and from that footage we're going to see if we can find the shots based on some uh, guessing of where those shots should be on that video and then measuring the distance between the two sounds that we hear on that video and see if they match and if they match then we'll have a pretty good indicator as to what uh, what we're listening for and I could have measured this a little bit differently because I'm stretching this uh, out quite a bit but we'll be there in just a second and I'm using wave pad here and it's a little bit slow on the response which is fine we'll probably drop this in the sonic visualizer as well uh, that way I can have someone peer review this uh, that would be Richard with Vegas one sounds so we're just about to that secondary sound here, and then we'll have a good indicator as to what the uh, time frame is between the, the sounds here. And let's see here. There it is right there. Okay, so there's your second shot there. We're going to go back here and measure the distance between the two. It should be about 10.2 something seconds. And what do we have here? Now, according to this, we have... Let me get that off. 10.263 seconds between the two shots. So we're going to go and bring in the other program or the other shot that we hear on the uh, number 65 uh, body cam footage. So remember this number, 10.263. That's what we're going to be looking for on that one. So we're going to open up that file, which is here on my desktop. And here's the audio of it. And on this file, we know that shot's going to come in at about the nine minute mark. Should be about right here. So we'll listen in and then I'll zoom in on that. It's about eight minute mark. I'm going to go for a little bit. And that's where Officer Hendricks actually froze out there. You heard him. But they do continue on down the hall and they go into the, the stairwell. Now, this is going to be incredibly faint. This is why it took a year to find this shot. One year to match these shots up and also to match it up with the, uh, with the suicide shot. But if you listen in at just about the nine minute, look right here, an 11 second mark. You're going to hear the suspected shot coming up. Right here. Oops, I'm pausing, sorry. That's your shot. Now, a lot of people, when I originally came out with this file, suspected that this may be a door sound, and you're going to see the difference between that. This is the door right here, and this is the suspected shot you're going to hear here. So listen to it again, and we're going to go forward about 10.263 seconds and listen for the second suspect shot. Here we go. Shot number one. Then you hear the door. You hear some other erroneous sounds. Now keep in mind that was at the 10.11. Here's a second. Right there. 
Okay, so here's our suspect shot number two. And we'll go back here a second. And there's our suspect shot. Uh, I went back too far. Right there. We're going to play it to it. You can see it right here coming up. That's right there. Now look at this shape. Right there. Now we're going to look for another one that should be about that same shape, which will be our secondary shot, which is coming up right here. All right. So a lot of people thought those sounded like doors until we actually put some math to it here. So let's gonna let's take this back to this one here. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more. And let's increase this factor here as well. I'm gonna put the marker here. That's about right. And now we're gonna go over to the other shot. And let's see what the distance is between the two. Is that right there? Yeah, let's stop right on that mark. And there we go, 10.328. So given the fact that one shot was heard outside, one shot heard inside, that little distance, difference of variance right there, the 10.263 and the 10.328 is definitely within the realm of error or the uh, margin of error here. So, and it could be simply that I placed the marker at a different spot. So if we pulled it from that part, which is the very beginning of it, to the very beginning of the other one, we're probably still going to get that same, same measurement. And uh, where are we at here? I'm back too far. Right here. And right there in the beginning. So we're right about the same. So 10.325 to 10.263, definitely within the margin error. Um, and also we're listening to two different recording devices. So that's how I found uh, the suspect shots. I believe a couple other people also did the same thing and found the suspect shots. The hard shot to find was the actual suicide shot. But that's what we have here, right here. That's how I found it. And that's where it shows up on the two actual um, videos that you take a look at, the, uh, the bus stop video and... Uh, the body worn camera footage, which is uh, number 65 on uh, number the uh, number eight jump, it's uh, video number 65. So if you need to, if you want to match that up, um, you can see the time frame here, which is at nine minutes and 11 seconds, which is when you hear the first shot, and nine minutes and 21 uh, seconds when you hear the second shot. And you can verify that the times match almost exactly, and that's how we're able to find that shot. Uh, we'll do the suicide shot in a totally separate video, but that's how we found the two 308 shots. And I'll find OBS and we'll end that software right here.